Chris 6 News at Noon continues. Well, good noon time, everybody. Un unbelievable uh, that we are have so much cloud cover, so much humidity and no sunshine. And here we are at the end of uh, February going into March. And you're not going to believe this one early next week, which is the beginning of March. It's going to get colder. So uh, you got to keep up with the weather program here. 73 right about now. The big difference is that we're picking up a south wind. Remember, we've had a north wind for a couple of days. Now the south wind is kicking in and that's going to bring us in some warmer air tomorrow, but it's not really going to clear us up much at all. At this hour, while we're doing fairly well in the city, other than the rain, the fog is down to a one mile visibility in the Kingsville area. We're five miles out at the airport and three miles out at Naval Air Station. Now the rain has been pretty widespread all over the area. It hasn't been very heavy, but it's been enough to sort of mess things up. As you can see right about there, there's our uh, <laughs> our live uh, sky cam uh, with the uh, moisture all over it. So it is on the damp side. And as I told you yesterday, today is probably the peak of the rain. Tomorrow we're going to get a, um, a stronger south wind. It'll be humid and warmer, but probably not as wet as it is today, but not a lot of improvement. There you see the moisture continues streaming northbound. This is that area of lower pressure that's bringing all that deep cloud cover over our region. This generally will be moving northbound and producing a little bit heavier rain up in the Houston area. We have this front up in North Texas. You'd think, okay, a front coming, but not particularly this one. This one's going to drift a little bit farther south and not really make it to our area to give us a north wind or any kind of clearing or cooling. What we're looking at and waiting for is this one. This is an hour, another powerful storm on the west coast. This is another storm that's producing incredible rain and snow up there, believe it or not. But now we're going, to, we're going to wait for that storm to come through our area and be part of a little bit of a chill that we're looking for next week. Here you see the temperatures for us fairly mild in the 70s and the 50s and 60s up north, but not that far, a little bit farther north. It's uh, still winter time, as you can see right about there. So let's take a look at our future tracker. Uh, the rain showers will be, it'll be wet all day long. It'll be sloppy and uh, so drive carefully. You saw those accidents that we had already. Apparently they didn't watch the forecast. Uh, you can see how that moisture is going to stream northbound. And then we have that warmer air. So it'll be in the upper 70s over the next couple of days, but still on the cloud on the cloudy side because this stuff is uh, sort of capped by the um, higher pressure on top of it. Then we see that front move down to maybe about the Austin area, but it's not going to move much farther south than that, but it will sort of keep us on the cloudy side. Now that frontal system on the west coast, when does it get here? It looks like it'll get here on early on Sunday morning and it will be something that we'll have to deal with. 72 today, that's about where we're at right now, 74, and then up to 78 uh, tomorrow and Friday when we're hoping to see one or two rays of sunshine. But here's that front, it's after midnight on Friday, closer to Sunday, but Sunday and Monday, we're gonna be actually looking for sweaters because right now the forecast high on next Monday is 48. So uh, we'll sort of be dealing with that one. Mike, back to you.